you're asking yourself, why is this guy back on this fucking channel promoting more shit? You've seen my review of my 10 millimeter beautiful Miami Cuban link by Daniel Jewelry and the first video ever of my seven millimeter gorgeous one. I had to scrap up some change because you know that's what I do, I'm a hustler. I always figure it out. I always work three or four jobs to make ends meet, to do none other than the upgrade of that sexy nine millimeter joint from Daniel hey, Ju- What is this charge on our credit card? Hmm? But then, huh? What, what is this Daniel bullshit? No, who? Who's that? That's fraud. That's gotta be no, fraud. No, this is what you always do. No, this is fraud. Oh, shit. Damn, man. She fucking bugging me. I I worked mad jobs to fucking pay for this shit. Don't listen to anything she said, I'm gonna have to call my mother. So let's get back to the topic at hand. We talking about my gorgeous nine millimeter, 150 plus gram, 24 inch Miami Cuban link. Pin straight, mm, mm. You can barely see it on camera. That's how sharp them edges is, B. We talking about heavy duty. The seven millimeter is perfect for an everyday wear and I literally wear this shit absolutely every day. But my wife tried it on. And then it looked a little too perfect on her. And then I felt some type of way. And then she was trying to take shit and then try to rock it. We not having that. So she ain't rocking this. Her petite little ass neck ain't fucking with the 150 plus. Yeah, let me put this joint on so you can see them. Two chains. Boom, there you got a comparison. We're gonna try to zoom into this joint. Don't worry about my stubble and these gray hairs. That's for wisdom. So you can see here, we got the nine millimeter and the seven millimeter. So you can see how they hang on the neck. Obviously there's a different in girth. Pause. I'm about seven foot tall, four inches, approximately. But you, you, you get the idea. This is how it hangs, it's a 24 inch. They're both 24, but you can actually see, even from a distance, that this one's a little beefier and girthier. But enough of that bullshit. Let's get to the close-up details of this sexy motherfucker. Who else is gonna bring you a side-by-side -side comparison of a seven millimeter and the nine millimeter Miami Cuban link from Daniel Jewelry Inc. other than your boy. This one's a freshly made nine millimeter made for your boy with a beautiful polish. This one is my seven millimeter daily wear. I literally wear this every day. It has not been cleaned in two weeks. It's not duller, it's just dirty. Neck, body oils, all that nasty shit that drips off of you when you're masturbating at your work desk is reflected right here. Here's the girth of the 9mm pause, and here's the girth of the 7mm. Clearly there's a nice difference between them. I'm gonna do you a favor and zoom in a little bit so y'all can see the details. Still tight links, still beautiful quality as usual. Now I'm gonna run this shit down the gamut. This is the 7mm as you can see. Consistency is key, nothing has changed. Again, it's not faded, it's dirty as fuck. Here is the nine millimeter. Clearly, you have a width difference. It's a two millimeter difference, which really made more of a difference than I anticipated, and I'm not complaining at all. Consistency throughout, properly filed, nothing but excellent fucking quality from the team over at Daniel Jewelry Inc. In this one, I got the diamond clasp. As you can see, it's the 14K stamp, along with the diamond button. I don't anticipate this shit falling out, but I'm sure if it does, I'll reach out to them and they can holla at your boy. Oh, and I gotta show you on the other side, I also got the initials and I'll compare the diamond lettering on the nine millimeter to the seven millimeter. Here's the diamond lettering. I didn't get a manicure, don't fucking judge me. Look at that shit. Look at that gorgeous detail on that raised lettering right there. Bang! Now let's look at it on the seven millimeter. There's the one on the seven millimeter. Not compromised at all, still gorgeous quality, still holding up. Again, this is a daily wear. Nothing's falling off, no chips, no damages, nothing like that. So here you go, you got a side-by-side with a nine millimeter and the seven millimeter, both 14K Miami Cubans from Daniel Jewelry Inc. And y'all know I have a 10 millimeter bracelet, so I'm just gonna make it a little extra spicier for y'all bastards. Boom, three-way comparison. So now you got a 10 millimeter, nine millimeter and seven millimeter all made by Daniel Jewelry Inc. The gloss on this one obviously is still freshly polished. I do not wear the bracelet every day. If you work an office job like I do and your hands are on the fucking keys all day, you don't wanna scratch a bracelet or be wearing that shit on the table all day. As you can see, there's not a drastic difference in the 10 millimeter versus the nine millimeter, but a very big difference between a seven and a 10. Pause. Never thought I'd say those words in my life. I got the digital scale ready for y'all motherfuckers so we can weigh this shit out. So we're just gonna take this shit out of... We were roasting a pig. Don't worry about it. Just open this thing up. I'm so... That's not me. 
I live on the five floor, that's it. Don't you just hate it when your wife just leaves all the seasoning on the scale, it's crazy. So I'm gonna put the seven millimeter, I'm gonna try to do it all in one shot. I can't damage the scale, because I need it in half an hour. All right, so let's try to put all this shit here. Clearly, I'm not doing a good job of it, but here we go. So it's weighing out at 88.6 without falling. Well, it's 88.6, let's leave it at that because that motherfucker's falling. Make sure this shit is zeroed out. And now we're gonna put the new boy, the big boy. Let's put this motherfucker on here. This shit probably will not even fit, but we're gonna try to make it work. 151.9, so that's a drastic difference in weight. And let me tell y'all fuckers, you can definitely feel the weight on this puppy than on this one. So here you go, you got a side-by-side -side weight Side by side comparison, diamond comparison on the initial, and the beautiful craftsmanship by Daniel Jewelry Inc. From your boy, the biggest in the fucking game. Now let's get back to my pretty face, shall we? I'm so goddamn good at this shit, it's unbelievable. Who else is gonna show you a seven millimeter, nine millimeter, and fuck, a 10 millimeter side by side by side? You've seen the diamond raised lettering. You've seen the diamond button. You've seen the comparison in sizes. You've seen that the shit hangs pinned straight. What other questions do you have about Daniel Jewelry? I'll wait, nothing. And clearly, you can see that a repeat customer like myself continues going back because I get top grade service, amazing quality jewelry. What else can you say, B? Who else is gonna bring it to you like the kid? I just got slapped on camera. I'm gonna be sleeping on the couch. I'm probably gonna get crazy glue in my pee hole. Shout out to my family over at Daniel Jewelry Inc. And I hope y'all motherfuckers tune in next time because who knows, I might just get a diamond rollie right after that shit. I think she's getting a new credit card or at least she doesn't know I signed her up for one. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? It's the Cuban Dawn, B. Smooches. Money for the motor roller star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.